Ah, here we go. Social media and sports journalists are losing their collective minds over a kid at a Kansas City Chiefs game. Why? Because the poor lad had the actual audacity to wear an Indian headdress and some black face paint. And of course, in comes Dan LeLibtard, like a knight in virtue signaling armor, tweeting that this kid somehow violated the NFL's end racism pledge. Seriously? Are we at a point where a child attending a game is now a national fucking crisis? I guess so. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, before we get into this, do me a favor and go to rpwmedia.com and sign up for our newsletter. It's free. You get an email a day and it's got our last three stories in it. And I promise we won't give you the kind of bullshit that I'm about to reveal to you. Okay, so there's this guy named Karen J. Phillips who wrote this asinine piece for a magazine called Deadspin. It's a blog. Okay, Karen. First off, my condolences for the name there, buddy. With a name like that, you'd think he'd be more careful with words, but no. He jumps right into the fray, calling the kid a racist in his article for Deadspin. Let me repeat that for you. He called a minor child a racist in a publication. I remember another minor who the media made up false negative stories about him. And things didn't go too well for those networks, if you remember. So this kid, who was simply showing his team spirit, is now caught in the crossfire of the outrage brigade. Can a kid just be a kid anymore? But no, the leftists can't let that happen. Normalcy? That's apparently too much to ask for. The real story here is, it's a young fan showing his love for his team. But that doesn't fit the narrative, does it? No, we can't have examples of normalcy and sportsmanship. That's too wholesome for the twisted world of deadspin. The kid was wearing a Native American headdress and has face paint showing the colors of his team. But this is how Karen and the rag deadspin portrayed him. You see this shit? This fucked hard rag wanted their readers to think that the young Chiefs fan is so racist that at such a young age... He wore blackface and an Indian headdress just to show everybody what a racist he was. Just take in for a moment what these adults did to this minor child. Aaron created a controversy. How many times have we heard that? A controversy from nothing. And the other fucked hard leftists on social media couldn't wait to jump in. Twitter was all on fire over this. They said the kid should be banned from going to games ever again. Here's the sad fucking part. When this is all over and everyone in the world learns that this was shit reporting and the kid wasn't wearing blackface, these shit-stained adults will never apologize for what they did to the kid. This is a better photo of what the Chiefs fan looked like. Is there any way you could look at that and think, holy shit, he's a little racist? I don't think so. Fans have been painting their faces in team colors since there have been teams and fans. I understand kids did things like this in Rome. They dressed up like their favorite gladiators. That's how long team adoration has been going on. But now, according to this piece of shit, Karen and his ilk, it's a crime against humanity. And let me say this. If Deadspin doesn't show Karen the door, they might as well rename themselves Vice 2.0 because... That's what they will be in about two months' time. What this really is, folks, is a sad commentary on our society today. We have media outlets and so-called journalists more interested in pushing a twisted narrative than reporting the truth. They're targeting innocent children with their libtard mental Olympics. I hope this boy knows that he has a majority of Americans rooting for him. And as for Deadspin, well, if there's any justice in this world, their name will soon define their status. I know the liberals won't get that. And to the fake news media, leave the kids alone. Stop dragging them into your messed up racist fantasies. This is yet another example of the outrage mob ignoring reality. They're so desperate for a villain, they'll even target a child. All right. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and share our videos with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Stay informed, stay vigilant. Always remember, read between the lines and the lies. Thanks for watching this video.
I'll see you in the next one. you and